dissertation using a piece of this tool, um, to do that kind of work. Um, we, you're right, we record enormous quantities of data. Uh, and what we're hoping to do in the next few years is design tools that, in stages, will be more usable by doctoral students who have to use it, because that's the way their data is, uh, that researchers will want to use, and ultimately to make them straightforward enough so that learners can use them to query their own learning activities. And the general design for how these would work is planned out. Uh, there's a lot of work to be done in coding, and then I'm sure that the thoughts that I and others have contributed to this have had about the designs will get reshaped as others begin to use it. It's on, it's, it's on, the, it's on the boards. Uh, we're just awaiting, the, you know, all science depends on money, so we're just waiting a little money to get that move, moving forward. First question before the mic gets here, where do I get the software? <laughs> uh, talk, well, um, talk to Justine Bazoki in the University Industry Liaison Office. Uh, we've concluded a technology transfer agreement. SFU now owns the technology. Um, what we're hoping is that there will be some opportunities to extend it in ways such as that David was just asking about, along with lots of other ways. For example, one of the things that it can't do is it, we can't annotate PDF files at the moment. We think we know how to do that. You can do it a lot of PDF readers, but integrating it with the rest of this stuff is a complicated thing. Um, so it's available for research at the moment. Um, and depending on if you're a student or, or an instructor, how much you want to classify what you do as research, we might be able to work out something. Okay. So can, can I use my own learning method?